Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Continuing with our React and Django series. In today's video, we'll be looking into API routing and uh, providing a basic JSON response using that API app. So giving you a small brief about our previous video, the last video, we have created few apps and our main API app within those we have structured the things which we are going to use in the future which you can see over here so we have created our main api app and within that we have sub categories of apps such as categories orders payments product and users or user right so in this video we'll be covering few basic ideas of api routing and how we can shift the entire uh, urls uh, routing that Django handled previously to the API app. So the React which the front end which we are going to use for this project will be using this API URL endpoints or the API app which we are going to build using Django. So the main purpose is to shift all the routing uh, logics to the API app. So let's configure that and get started with it right so let's open the terminal and see what we have what the app is running and how it is providing things right so i guess i am right now in the api folder let's um, move a bit python 3 manage.py run server so, So I guess we have no errors, but let's see what we have in the home route. So currently we have a error page not found, right? So we have not configured API currently. So this is why the error is like this. But for this, we'll be uh, resolving this issue. So follow along with me. So the first and foremost thing which we are going to cover is let's navigate to the settings.py file in the main backend folder so over here you need to tell django that we have created a new app known as api so whether it might be a third party app or a self-created app you need to mention django and inform it that we have created something new right so let's do that and let's mention api as the the thing which we have created right so now django knows that we have an api app in our project now the next step is to move into urls.py in the main backend uh, folder and see what we have in here right we have admin we have api auth which is not necessary right now but we don't have any api routing right we need to explicitly tell django that let's shift all the routing of the api to the api app and not go inside from the main urls.py file in the my backend folder right now the first thing you need to tell django is let's create a path for it so path api slash and uh, we need to include a urls file uh, within the api app so we haven't created that but we'll be doing it in a bit so this mention include api the app which we have uh, created dot urls so this is uh, configured so we have a new route in the main backend uh, app and it will tell django that now move shift all the routing of api to the api app so we have a route in here right so all the back and forth api request which we are going to process in the future part using the react will be handled through this api slash endpoint so this part is completed now let's navigate to the api app and over here you can see the api config files or whatever uh, the api app 
gives in default right but we don't have a urls.py file right so let's create a urls.py file in the api app not in the sub uh, apps which we have created like categories and order don't make a mistake in that or else you'll get some errors so make sure you create directly in the urls sorry api app itself so let's create that uh, urls.py and you can directly copy the most of the things from this my backend url and paste it over here so i think you can remove this and uh, most of all things are configured i think we don't need this settings and uh, let's remove most of the things over here okay so let's remove this also we don't require this uh, and uh, let's remove this and uh, provide a function which is home and uh, a simple empty route now we need to also import the function which we are going to create in a bit so for that we need to import the home function dot views uh, import home right currently it will give an error because we don't we have we haven't created any home handler or function in views dot pi file but we'll do that now so navigate to views dot pi file in your api app you'll see a basic uh, render import which basically renders your html which is used to render html but we'll be editing this we'll be providing json response and we'll be changing this to http okay now let's create a basic function which will return a json response so everything in django is um, handled through functions and it is the most preferable way to go with that so let's create that and uh, let's create a home which will take a request argument and uh, sorry and will be returning a json response curly braces will be providing something like info react and uh, django you can name whatever you want but just for demonstration i'll be providing some and uh, i think we are good now let's oh uh, yeah i think this is good yeah now that's look good and uh, sorry now let's provide a name with okay dexter so yeah i think this is providing an error commerce should be fine i think whatever so yeah so this is our home uh, function which we are using our uh, in our urls.py so we have already imported that and that is not an issue now we have this so whenever you hit the route empty after api dot api slash so basically what this empty route is is uh, after the api route so assume that you are going to uh, now this is your uh, server and api slash so after this whatever you request to the server it will provide you a json response it is not your home route make sure that you have a difference about that this is not your home route home route should be something like this but to serve your apis to your front end you need a uh, generic api endpoint through which you will back and forth uh, send data right so this is 
the part which we are mentioning over here in urls.py so this is that so this is api slash the empty part but we are ke keeping it empty right now okay so we have uh, done this uh, we have added the part and let's see what we have in here okay so i think we are done and let's run the server and see what we have okay we have an error json response so let's move to I think this solves that issue of Django. And let's see what we have in store now. Okay, the there is no issue now. Let's clear this first of all. So it was my mistake. The views or uh, the uh, the import was a bit mis uh, leading, and uh, I think this is the perfect one. So this should be like a small letter. It should not be capitalized and everything. So yeah. The server looks good, there are no errors and let's see what we have in store. So yeah, this is still giving you an error, but let's hit slash API slash, right? So we have a JSON response with info, React and Django commas, name, OK, Dexter. So this is being handled by this home function, right? So yeah. This is your API endpoint and this is the JSON uh, response we are handling using our API uh, app. Now, if you notice, we still have the error in the home page, right? Because Django doesn't know what to provide. So just for time being, we are providing a dummy HTML response to avoid this error because it doesn't look good. So later on it will be changed because that was it is not necessary now let's move to our main backend app and uh, we can provide a dummy path maybe something like this a function which will provide you an html let's stop the server first of all and uh, uh, default is something which we can name it as and let's provide a function views import and uh, i think default is fine this should be small sorry now you cannot see any views.py uh, file in your um, my backend folder right so create one this should be removed later but make sure you don't have any errors for now so it is views.py don't make any mistake in that views.py right okay now i think we can copy the handler from our uh, api app but we'll change a bit over here sorry views and uh, we are not providing a json response but we'll just uh, do a render should be fine render and let's provide an html tag h1 should be fine my home now let's change this handler to default i guess yeah this should be this should work i guess uh we have done that we have provided our urls path and uh, this looks good and let's check our server now okay so there are a few changes over here it is http import http response so basically to render a html you need to use this uh, function http response so we have a h3 so previously we had h1 and we did few changes here and there so make sure the import should be proper because it may get a bit confusing sometimes but uh, yeah the urls and everything are just same and uh, 
Django HTTP import HTTP response. So yeah, so we are just basically providing an HTTP response to the home route. And let's check the page. So this is the response. Now we have no errors in the home route as well, but this will be removed in the future. Just for time being, we are providing this. And let's look into the API route. PI, we are getting a perfect response, JSON response. And yeah, I think we are done with this part now. So we have configured everything uh, regarding the API routing. And we have also provided a, provided a basic uh, JSON, sorry, a AC HTTP tag to the home route to avoid any misleading or confusion. So uh, summarizing the entire thing, let's clear, clear the console first of all. We have started with uh, getting into the settings.py file. We have added the API app which we created, which we have created previously. Then we have uh, added few routes for API and we have created you we have created a urls.py file in the api app and this is the code for it then we have created a function which basically provides a json response on this specific route so let's see this so this is the json response then to avoid the home page error we have created a dummy views file views.py file which is this which is returning an h3 and uh, we have provided a empty path for that so yeah this was entire thing about api routing and avoiding errors at the home page so we are done with this and uh, if you have any questions queries and concerns regarding this you can definitely hit me down in the comment section below and uh, the code for this will be available in the description this is a zip file and uh, you can unzip it and uh, you can get in sync with the entire process for time being so yeah this was it for this video guys if you have any questions regarding this you can surely uh, check out the social media handles which i have and uh, do subscribe and hit like button if you really uh, appreciate this series and all the things which i do so yeah and uh, stay tuned for more and thanks for watching